we're starting. Hi, I'm Julie Faith Van Valzer and I am here in the Art Foamies booth. And what are Art Foamies? Well, I'm so glad that you asked because ah, these are Art Foamies. They're the biggest, most awesome, most super detailed stamp. I mean, take a peek at that level of detail. You have never seen foam stamps like this. Is that a thing? Your grandma's foam stamps. So they're super easy to use. Now, of course, the normal way that we've all used foam stamps is you take some paint, you take a brayer, you stick it on there, and you go ahead and stamp it. That still works. But our foamies have made it even better because they come with a stamp buddy. And a stamp buddy is a really cool reusable thing. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just get some stamping ink on here. And yes, you can use these with paint. You can use them with stamping ink. You can use them with, you know, uh, fabric paint, paper paint, acrylic paint, whatever it is that you want, okay? Then I'm gonna stamp onto the stamp buddy. And now I can see the sort of vague outline of my stamp. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take some paint and I'm just gonna pour it into the Stamp Buddy, if any paint will come out of the tube. That is actually a prerequisite for putting Stamp to Stamp Buddy. It has to come out. There you go. So now it's coming out and I'm just rubbing it into the foam surface. I am gonna use multiple colors so that I can have a totally custom print. Somebody is really excited over there, but not as excited as I am about this. Now this Stamp Buddy, you can wash it out just in the sink with some water and as soon as the water runs clear, then the Stamp Buddy is clean, even if there's some staining from your acrylic paint. So what kind of acrylic paint do you need to use? It's literally anything, and again, we can mix brands, we can mix colors, we can go crazy. You just wanna get some paint into there. We're essentially creating a custom paint palette, which I think is really exciting. So I have to use some turquoise, because I have to tell you, like so many other people, I'm completely obsessed with turquoise. And what I'm gonna do is just put some sort of lumpy bumps of the paint out, and then I am gonna go ahead and use, I bet you have one of these, it's an old hotel room key, and I'm just gonna spread the paint into the palette. So people often say like, how many times can you reuse this? And the answer is as long as you never let the paint actually dry into the Stamp Buddy and you wash it out while the paint is still wet, then you can reuse it forever and ever and ever and ever, which is awesome to know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more paint. And you know, I'm a sort of a crazy color girl, so I'm gonna be a little inconsistent and I'm gonna add a different color blue because I like to be a paint rebel. So I'm just gonna go ahead, throw this in here, get it going. Now, what kind of designs can you get? Well, it's really whatever kind of artist you are. You can get designs that are images, you can get designs that are abstract, you can get any kind of design you want. So I am gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna squeeze out even more paint, just making sure that every little inch is covered and colored, and we are gonna make something so spectacular. Okay, so I feel like we're ready to do this thing. Okay, ooh, I got paint all over because I am messy. You know what you do when you get paint all over? Let me show you this incredible technique. It's unbelievable. Are you ready? Okay, oh my gosh. Now I have a painted background instead of a white piece of paper. That's amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my stamp and here I am, I'm pushing it right into my Stamp Buddy just like this. And if I go ahead and I pull the Stamp Buddy up, you can see that the paint has covered the stamp. So I know that I'm ready to go. So I can just go ahead and print it. <gasps> Look at that beautiful custom print, right? Super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back into the stamp buddy and I'm gonna keep going. And usually you can easily get more than one print off of one inking. So I have covered fabric, yardage. I have covered wrapping paper. I have done all kinds of things and all I'm doing is just using this stamp buddy over and over and over again. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is a huge piece of paper, Julie, and you are gonna cover it in no time at all, but you still have all this paint in the stamp buddy and I'm be like, whoa, 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 don't yell at me, okay? It's gonna be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna use a different stamp with the same stamp buddy, which I think is just super wicked awesome cool. So here you go. I practically want to stamp on the table. And by the way, how do you clean the stamp buddy? I'm so glad you asked. All you do is take a piece of paper and if it stops having any paint on it, that stamp buddy is clean. Why waste time cleaning when you could be crafting, right? So check it out. Here is my stamp buddy. I can take a smaller stamp and I can go ahead and just ink it up 
into my Stamp Buddy. Let's flip the page and you can see what that looks like right here. Okay, super cool. I can take a different shaped stamp and I can go ahead, even though it's not quite the right size, I can just go ahead and move it along. You can see some of the ink on there. And now I have a beautiful custom colored print like that. I can take a totally different thing like this and I can go ahead and do the same thing and just move it through and go ahead and stamp it. I can take a bigger stamp, again, another circle, and I can go ahead and move it through and see what kind of custom print I can get with that. But it just keeps giving and giving and giving. And then here's a cool little trick, sorry, that I really, really like, which is you just take this stamp and you kind of stay in one area so that instead of getting all of these colors, you can see I just have blue and I can go ahead and I can stamp with that. And now look, it's like this one stamp buddy. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And if I do it right in the middle, same stamp, same stamp buddy, it's gonna be a totally different colorway. So you really have a lot of options. Now I wanna show you some samples before I let you go. So come with me, we're gonna go on over to the other wall. I mean, first of all, so many designs. I mean, the best ones are clearly this one, but you know. They're all really great. But let me just show you some samples that I made because I love them. So I wanted to show you how good they look in black and white and to fool your brain. This is white on black, this is black on white, and it doesn't matter, it all blends together. Lots of collage -y elements, okay? Now if you're into art journaling and color and all kinds of stuff, you can see how you can do collage. This is stamped on deli paper and watercolor paper. And you can see this heart that's all shiny and beautiful and has molding paste under it and all kinds of stuff. But look at how delicate you can get with the art foamy. See this thing that looks like writing? Uh-uh, that's a stamp, that's an art foamy. Okay, hello, do you know what this is? Can you even tell these gorgeous tiles? This one's my favorite and it might be because it's green. This one is paper clay, that's all it is, and I covered it with tar gel after pushing the art foamies in it. Art foamies are fantastic with clay, and they actually sell a harder version of them that you can use with clay really easily, or you can use your regular ones for a light impression. How about surface design? I showed this great little quilt to somebody, and they actually thought I had just taken a piece of printed fabric, right? And I was like, um, hello, no, I actually printed that myself. So, whether you are a homemaker, mixed media maker, a painter, a crafter, a creator, a quilter, a human being with hands, you are gonna want to use some art foamies in your artwork. So check it out at artfoamies.com. You can also purchase there. Remember, the prices are all in Canadian dollars. And of course, come on over to my website at balzerdesigns.typepad.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube to be the first to see all our videos from Creativation.